signal around the globe. Direct from New York City. New York City. It's Brad Blanks. Good old days. Of course, yeah, yeah, man. So it's always, you, we were in the backyard. In the back, you're in the backyard, mate. Yeah, um, wow, we've come a long way. Brad Blanks with Jonathan Levine, uh, an old friend of mine. Um, I, I used to stay in the front house and he used to live in a bungalow. Uh, back house, LA back house culture. It's ugly. It's ugly. You don't, you don't want to know. It's, um, and I think you used to get robbed all the time. We just, no, we only got robbed once, but someone walked in while we were sleeping and just stole stuff from our pockets. It's kind of creepy, and then and then stole uh, while you were asleep. While we were asleep, and then stole my brother's cell phone, and we called his cell phone the next day, and he told us he was going to come back and rob us again. It was not. It was these were dark times. This is a much happier situation. <laughs> well, the beauty of that is, is that you actually went through the LA story, really, didn't you? You went out there. You wanted to be a writer, director. Yeah. You created your own stuff. Can you sort of tell me what was the first little spark that jumped you from getting touched up by a robber? and getting robbed in your back bungalow in LA to where you are now? Um, you know, I, I met some, some young producers who financed my first film, and you know, I was able to kind of do what I wanted to do with that, and I've just been very lucky, man. I've just been very lucky. I, after that night where we got robbed, it's all been uphill. Really? Yeah, it was, it was the worst night, and then everything got better. Well, I must say, I went and visited him in uh, Los Feliz when you moved into that apartment, yes. and you were actually locked away. There was actually no more funny business. You were working hard, so you did put some hard work. On a Saturday afternoon, you would work hard, right? Um, I think everyone involved in this movie works hard, but we also know that you know we also know that we're very lucky to do what we do, and it's really fun. Yep. So we don't work too hard. No, good. I like that. Yeah. Now, in terms of this movie, how do you bridge uh, comedy and drama? Because you really nailed it in this. There's great moments. It's like perfect ebbs and flows of it. Um, you know, it's a lot about pace. It's a lot about what's done in the editing room, and it's a lot about the great script that Will Reiser wrote. And and it's mostly about the great script that Will Reiser wrote. It all came from that. And as you know, as you're directing it though, are you got, with such great actors, are you knowing there's a gag that's been nailed? And then also you know, like as a couple of beats later, there's a quite a heartfelt yeah. moment. I mean, you can tell when things are funny and you can tell when things are working dramatically. What you can't tell is how they're going to fit together and that you have to do in the editing room. But when you have actors like Seth doing the funny stuff, like there's no one better. And then when you have people like Joe and Angelica doing these dramatic, intense moments, it makes your job pretty easy, yeah. Well, mate, well, you're a champion. Bloody great to see you. Respect, yeah, man. Good to yeah, see yeah, well you. Done. Jonathan Levine, good bloke. L.A. story from bungalow bum to director on a Hollywood New York red carpet.